watch this and then let's talk the problem is that a lot of men don't know the nature of men when y'all are not present uh -huh. there's a side of your gender that we experience that you would never have to see because when there are no real men around you men are going to show who they really are when they enter into a space where they know that woman is without a man then we get to see the true nature we get to see how y'all really are and operate point blank period Something about that video reminded me about the nature of male lions. And before I dive into that, hi, my name is Shayna. I talk a lot about decentering men, um, being child free. I'm also a journalist for a number of publications. So if you wanna be a part of the community and conversation, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to comment your thoughts. Now let's dive in to the nature of the male lion. Now, first of all, why do I think that it's important um, to specify the male lion in this particular uh, conversation because there are so many men that identify with lions and, and their idea of lions is different than the reality of lions. But the reality of lions is exactly like the reality of men. If you know, you know, and I am going to talk about one of the realities of lions that I think is very apparent in this video. First of all, male lions, um, when like a little lion is born, there tends to be, you know, a little litter of them and they are able to stay with the pride until they're about three, four years old. And then all of the male lions are kicked out and, you know, hey, you got to go figure, you got to go figure it out, my guy, because if they stay for any longer, they're going to try and take over the pride. That on its own says a lot, right? What's on my eyebrow? Who knows? Um, so there's that. That's not exactly what I'm going to be talking about. What I'm talking about comes in a little bit later because when male lions are out in the wild, they have the, a lot of the times they join up with either with other lions that are within that same age range and that other male lions that are roaming, trying to figure out they're in their basically like adolescence and, you know, get bigger, stronger. They do create communities, right? Either within their same litter or from others. So that way they could hunt together. They can get bigger, they get stronger. Sometimes they play, but eventually those playing can lead to fighting because a lot of the time play in all, all doesn't matter what uh, animal type, play is always helping them to form the skills needed for adulthood. And for a lot of for lions in general, play can play helps to hone the skills for hunting and for males for fighting other males. So once the lions are big enough or at like the right size, right age, whatever, they go out and they start looking for a female pride that they can take over. Now, mind you, all of these males in the wild have honed the skills to hunt, to take care of themselves, to work in community because it was necessary for their survival. They can do that with the other males. They want to take over the pride filled with um, females. One, because, sorry, my neighbors are so loud. One, so they want to take over the pride filled with females so that way they can, one, have access to all of the females for reproduction. Females can, uh, to reproduce um, and because it literally just makes their lives so much easier because the females tend to do, not tend to, the females do the vast majority of the hunting, vast majority of the hunting. Generally, unless there is a drought, unless there are there is truly a lack of animals present or unless they're trying to take down a massive animal, we're talking giraffes, we're talking elephants, we're talking water buffalo like male water buffaloes, the males will be like, yeah, the ladies got it, right? They have all the skills. They just don't want to use the skills. Now, a couple of things happen once one of those roaming males decides, okay, I think I want to take over that pride in particular. That pride in particular generally already has a male lion that is in charge. Not actually in charge, <clears throat> um, but there's a male lion there. Now, male lions that are in the pride basically have one, have two jobs, two jobs. They do one job well enough, and then they do that other job pretty terribly. The first job is that they reproduce. <laughs> they, they have lots of canoodling time with the ladies and then sire a litter. 
right? Now, the other part of that job is to make sure that that litter stays alive. And that's the part that they do pretty terribly. Now, that might not be entirely their fault because a lot of the times when, uh, well, first let's look, at some, look up some stats about the survival rate of lion, of lion cubs. So first of all, according to the wildandfreefoundation.org, about 80% of cubs die. 80% of cubs die. Now, not to say that they all die because dad is slacking. Sometimes there's illness, sometimes there's injuries, sometimes there, and they're, for the beginnings of their lives, um, like the very, very beginnings, the mom, the pregnant lioness also has to go out into the wilderness away from the, from the family. So that way she could give birth to the bait, to her cubs. And they kind of have to stay away from the family for a little bit. They're very, very small, very delicate. And the, their cousins, their bigger ones, they, they play a little hard you know <laughs> they don't want she doesn't want them to be injured also there's like a whole acclimation process to introducing the cubs to the aunties the cousins the dad all of that so mom has to go out a lot of stuff happens to those babies when they're out there but ideally by the time that they come back and reintegrate with the with the family when all of the lionesses go out to hunt the male lion should be there protecting the babies from from all that is out there a lot of what is out there are the other males so why do male lions have to be so big and strong and all of that what what is the use of it the use of it is that they protect the cubs from like animals and like other things, but also they fight the other males that come in wanting to take over their their um, pride. Because if another male comes in and takes over the pride, then they will kill all of the babies there because they're not theirs. And the lionesses, they don't become uh, sexually active again until all of the until their babies have reached adulthood like they are literally just not ovulating until their babies reach adulthood so what is the only way to to fix this conundrum obviously you you destroy the babies <laughs> right and then as soon as you destroy all of the babies you look at all of the women and go don't you feel all hot and bothered by all these dead babies. Mm. I can't stand them. I can't stand them. Now, as all of the lionesses are out there hunting, doing, and they also do the majority of the child rearing too. Um, the lions are, you know, kind of just laying around. They play with the babies every now and then. They fight the other lions off. Um, but as soon as the lionesses make a kill, the lion will bolt it bolt it because he demands to be the first one to eat the first one to eat sometimes sometimes leaving said babies behind now here's the part that i wish more people knew about lion lions in general um if a male lion has claim dominion over a, over a pride of lionesses and he's not doing his job, the lionesses can and do revolt. They can kick him out. They will fight him to get him out. Sometimes those lionesses also go into the wild to lure in a bigger, stronger male. So that way he can kick out that lion if that lion is not doing his job. Now, I am under the impression that if the female lion is going out to lure in another like bigger, stronger, more like productive male lion, that all the babies are grown. All the babies are grown. And they just are choosing not to reproduce with that one. It's, it's, that's the part that I wish more people knew about. But now, what does any of this have to do with the nature of men? You can see a man be super driven, forward thinking, active, productive in the wild around other men. He can get things done, right? But that's not who he wants to be. That might be the facade that he has created among his bros, but that's not who he wants to be necessarily. 
Sometimes they just want to be that lazy lion. Sometimes they work hard so that way they can take it all off when the women are around and say, oh, now I get to be the princess I've always wanted to be. Now I can treat you the way that I always wanted to treat you because the men are gone and just me with my ladies. Now, in the very least for lionesses, they have other women that can see what they're seeing. A lot of the times it's just us in intimate space with a man who nobody else knows the truth about. Things to consider, things to consider. Now, I would love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to comment away. I will get to them as quickly as I can. It does take me some time though, full disclosure. Um, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I'll talk to you guys later. I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right, bye.